Hi, uh, this video uh, I'm going to show beginner how to center the clay. Uh, it's very important but it's very fundamental that there are some steps that uh, if you pay attention to it, it's easier for you to center the clay. Okay, first of all, uh, I would suggest a beginner using the clay that is about, uh, I would say about between 2 pounds to 3 pounds. Uh, not too small, not too big. Okay, this is about uh, between 2 pounds to 3 pounds of clay. And, uh, of course, that uh, when you start to uh, center, especially for beginner, you don't want to use the clay that is too hard. Okay, so uh, try to use a little bit softer clay. If your clay is a bit uh, dry when coming out from the new bag, you might want to slice it, uh, maybe half inch thick, and then you soak it in the water, and then you rewatch it again. Soak it in the water about in about five minutes, and take it out and rewatch it again, and that way your clay will be soft enough. Right when you are uh, Place your clay on the wheel head. There are circles on the wheel head, so you might want to put your clay right in the middle, right, in the, in the, uh, right into the circle. But first, uh, you don't want to put your clay like this. It's a uh, rectangle, it's irregular shape, and it's very hard for beginner to start with. So before you put it, place your clay on the wheel head. This is what I suggest. To try to pound your clay so that it becomes circle. Okay, more like a circle instead of a square or rectangle or irregular shape. That's it's going to be very difficult for beginner to. Uh, push the clay around and then uh, after that there are some circles on the wheel head so you might want to adjust uh, put your clay right into the, the middle part the, the more center the better and after that you want to pound the clay while you spin your wheel and try to adjust it so uh, your clay the most uh, center the better then you will have less effort to uh, push the clay around um, by doing this again uh, you are going to stick your clay on the wheel head there are three steps that I uh, would like to have a beginner to remember all the time, um, they are three S's. S. Uh, the first one is the uh, speed control. Uh, when you are centering, you want to spin your wheel a little bit faster. Okay. I would say about uh, this is full power. That's a little bit too fast. I would say about uh, eighty percent of your full power. Okay, spin a little bit faster. Um, the speed control is not only the, the wheel spinning speed, also your hand moving speed, okay? That's uh, when you uh, get to the point that to pull up your clay, uh, uh, how fast you move your hand is very important. So uh, my speed control is not only the uh, speed of the wheel, also the hand moving speed, okay? The uh, second S is uh, you want to be uh, slippery all the time. When you uh, try to move the clay, you don't have too much friction in between of your hand and the, the clay. So, uh, constantly uh, add water to your hand or add the slip to your hand so that uh, it's slippery all the time. Okay, that's the second S. And the third one is uh, strong support. Uh, usually, you want to have a very good support like you could uh, put uh, your hand, your arm right here, rest on the splash pan if you have splash pan. Or 
Uh, if you don't have splash pen, you can put it on your laps. On your laps. Okay. That's a strong support. So three S's. That's very important. Um, the, the third one, uh, the fourth one is try to use the uh, point pressure that uh, when you are touching the clay, uh, you don't want to use the center of your palm to push the clay around. You want to try to curve your fingers so that you create more pressure on your hand. Okay, here uh, let me explain what's the, uh, what do I mean by uh, palm pressure. Uh, this is the needle tool. And this is a wooden stick that has different uh, size on the tip. When you put this one on your arm, and then you put about 20 pounds of clay on top of it, okay, on your arm, and also this one and 25 pounds of uh, 10, 20 pounds of the clay on top of it. Which one you think is hurting you? It's a needle tool, right? Why? Because the touching area, this one is smaller. So when the uh, surface area is smaller, you create more pressure. And this one is larger, so you have uh, less pressure on the surface. So that's why I suggest you to uh, use the point pressure on top of your clay. Now let's start it. But first, speed control, a little bit uh, faster, I would say about 80%. And then slippery, slippery on your both hands, slippery, now slippery. And the third one is strong support, you put your arm, rest your arm on the laps, right? And then point pressure, you want to curve your fingers. And you move your clay up. Alright. And then the next step is after you uh, move it up, you want to try to squeeze it down. Uh, let me use one hand to show you. Uh, when you push down, I'm using my left hand right on top of uh, this point and then push it down. Um, what do you see? That clay has become wider and wider, okay? So, this hand is like this. On your right hand is very important. Try to uh, uh, create like a wall to guide your clay when you, you push your clay down. Okay, push it down and your right hand is a wall here. And without moving your right hand, the clay is nowhere to go. One more time. A little bit faster. Slippery. Strong support. Um, my right arm is resting on the splash pan. Um, it's kind of a wall here, so the clay has nowhere to go. Has to go to uh, has to. Uh, uh, go to the direction that you push and you guide it. Um, what I'm doing is uh, using these two fingers holding on the very bottom so the clay doesn't become wider and wider. Okay. So push down and my right hand is guiding it. And the clay is nowhere to go. Okay. One more time. Uh, try for, to stop from here. And I'm using my right hand is because the wheel is spinning counterclockwise and uh, my fingertip is not going to get uh, caught into the clay. So uh, th that's the reason I'm using my right hand. And of course, uh, it, depending on uh, how people teach you, uh, maybe you might want to use your left hand and use your right hand instead. But uh, I find out, I find that my way of uh, uh, it's uh, uh, quite natural because uh, it, it's the, the the way the wheel is spinning counterclockwise and my right hand is kind of follow that direction. Okay, one more time. Speed control a little bit faster, curve fingers, slippery, strong support. Up. And again. 
again, right hand here to guide it without moving at all. And this left hand goes to the top and push down wider. And because my right hand is kind of like a wall, and the clay has nowhere to go, has to go to the direction or has to be guided by your right hand. Up. And down. Um, how can you tell if it's center or not? It's very easy. Okay? Try to place your hand right on top of the, the clay and while the wheel is spinning. If you think your hand is moving like shaky, that's not center. And if your hand is very uh, stand still, stay still, then it's a sender. Okay, my hand is right on top of it and without moving at all, while my wheel is spinning. So I know it's sender. And one other common uh, mistake that uh, beginner will make is when they squeeze up, uh, they try to flatten the top first, and then they squeeze it up. They create a little volcano on top of here. Okay, so that's uh, sometimes you wrap in air bubble inside. So it's not recommended you, when you uh, push the clay up. Try to uh, get your clay. The below part a little bit higher, the center part a little bit higher, and when you squeeze it up, you will not have that the uh, volcano shape. Done. Push it down. Done. Without moving the right hand to guide it, and it's the center. And if you can do it this several times, then you know that uh, uh, you have the skill of centering. Uh, try to uh, mess it up your clay again. See if you can do it again. Squeeze it up. Okay, if uh, several tries, uh, you uh, won't be able to do it. There must be something wrong. Uh, either your clay is too hard or too soft. Or you, uh, uh, a lot of time the uh, beginner tend to lose the speed of the wheel. Uh, at the beginning, you go very fast and then uh, later you, you slow down. So that's the, the one other uh, problem that, that you might face. Um, the third one is that uh, when you are moving it, you move your hand too fast or let go too fast. That's the one other problem that uh, you couldn't get the clay let go too fast or you move your hand too fast. That's uh, one other uh, problem that uh, you cannot get centered. So other than that, uh, just keep on practicing and uh, you will be able to get it clay to the center easy. Just remember my uh, three S's. The speed control, the slippery and the strong support, and the try to curve your fingers, use the point pressure to uh, move the clay around. You will be able to get your clay to the center. All right.